Oh, good day and welcome to Farming Live Australia. In the comment section on biochar the simple method, about a few people asked me or suggest that they were going to make bio, the biochar this method without using water. And they've come up with a few ideas to exclude the water and I sort of got the idea in the back of my head and I thought, well, I wonder what the possibilities are in my situation with what resources I've got to do the simple method without water. So I'm exploring that in this video today. I don't intend to do a full burn. I'll just burn for an hour or two and then I'll see if I can put it out successfully without water. And I've got an idea what I can do that'll probably work, I hope. Given that, you know, they teach you that to make fire you need air or oxygen, a heat source and a fuel source. And if you take one of those three away, they reckon you stop the fire. So I'm going to try and take away the air source. One thing that I have been doing is any spare bits of old wood that I get that I'm not using for our fire inside, I've been stacking them up in a stack, fairly organised, so that when I make char, it's all there on hand and there's no mucking about with long pieces, cutting them up and trying to pull them out of a pile. I pulled all the pile apart I had and cut it up and got it all ready, so that's going to save me a fair bit of time doing it that way in future. It's been two hours now and I've got enough char in there to test the theory. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit more fine wood over the top of that now, let that burn down into coals and then I'm going to try and put it out. I've just put a little bit of small wood in there to finish off. It won't take long at all for that to burn, probably 20 minutes and I'll have a go at putting it out. This is what I'm going to try and put it out with, sawdust. And it has got a little tiny bit of moisture in it from being down at the sawmill. But we have plenty of sawdust because we've got a sawmill, so I'm going to see whether that works. The char is burnt right down and as you can see there's no wood left at all, it's just char. And in a minute I'm going to have a go at putting it out. The excessive smoke you can see around the place is not from the char, it's from this bit of wood that fell out of it. And I'm going to cover it over too and see if it puts it out. So we'll see how we go. Here I'm pouring in the sawdust out of an old feed bag. We just went down and collected it a while ago. And you can see it's making it smoke quite a lot, but a lot of that I suspect steam because the sawdust is damp, but also the sawdust naturally hitting the red hot coals would make a bit of smoke trying to burn the sawdust away. Once we got quite a bit of sawdust on top of it all, enough to exclude all the air, the smoke seemed to take up and it seemed to be starting to work. I really won't know until I go down in an hour's time and it will either be more biochar in the drum or it will have gone out one or the other. One thing I just realised is that at least the worst that can happen is that it make more biochar. So, you know, I mean, if it's a failure, I'll just have to put it out with water. But the reason I'm doing it is because some people have suggested they don't have water, they don't want to use water, whatever. So I'm just trying to think of what I could do to exclude water if I had to. Okay now, I've put sawdust all over the car, or over the coals, the red hot coals, it's all red hot in there. And down here on the ground, where that piece was on fire on the ground, I put some on that too. 
There is a bit of smoke still coming out of it, so I don't know whether it's going to work or not. But anyway, I'll leave it go an hour and I'll come down and see if there's any more smoke coming out of it. See how it goes. It's an hour after I put the sawdust on and as you can see there's no sign of any smoke now. Even this pile on the ground there's no sign of any smoke whatsoever coming out of it. And I just wonder how hot it still is. And it, it is hot but you can put your, you can almost keep your hand on it. You know it's probably no more than about 60 degrees Celsius so I think that's going to be a roaring success the sawdust in there might seem a bit of a problem but I don't really think it is when you crush the, the charcoal you're going to wind up with sawdust in the car but I don't think that's an issue it'll go in the mulch pile and I think it'll get incorporated into the mulch. I put sawdust in the mulch anyway. So for our household garden, putting it out with sawdust I don't think is an issue whatsoever. Provided it wasn't sawdust with chemical additives in it, I think it'll be fine. It's the next morning and the drum is cold. As you can see the sawdust hasn't burned away or anything. I'll just dig it open and see what's going on. Yeah, the sawdust's warm, but you can see that the char is perfectly okay. The actual char is very slightly warm, but it's gone out. It's just a matter now of crushing the char and sawdust together, and the sawdust still breaks up all right. There's no problem there. I'll just take a bit of film of the paddock while I'm going to talk. I'd say that the experiment's a complete success. It doesn't seem to be any problems. The only thing I'd say is when you put the sawdust on, you probably want to give it a good 24 hours before you dig it out. I don't think it'd catch on fire there now. I mean, you can put, put it, hold it in your hand and it's probably only 10 degrees warmer than your body temperature at the moment, so it wouldn't catch on fire, but... Just to be sure, I'd leave it for the 24 hours. Well, the sun's just coming up. So that's another experiment I've done with the biochar, and it was a roar of success. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia. We'll catch you next time.